Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back after a few weeks off. I messed up. I messed up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said I was going to do videos every single week and I missed last week. Truth be told, I was at the Body Power Expo and just drinking loads. It was a rough late night weekend getting in at 6 a.m. It's half six in the morning, both mornings, and was just destroyed for a week after that. In other news, it was actually quite fun. Body Power Expo. Look, before we get into today's video, I just want to say thanks to all the really good comments that I've had since the last few videos. It seems like a lot of people are taking the positives from the videos and even though sometimes I might say something edgy or controversial, a lot of the time it's in satire and it's just joking around. It seems like there are a lot of people out there who are benefiting from these videos. So guys, I just want to say thanks to the really nice messages and the comments that you've left. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, connect with me on social media. I'd love to talk more. Right, today guys, just a quick one. I'm not going to rant on or anything today. We've got a follow-up video from the whole Chanel Hayes drama. If you haven't seen that original video that I done about Chanel Hayes, then I'll link it below in the description. Basically, a celebrity who was known for yo-yoing in weight and going up and down in body weight. And then the last few TV appearances have involved her going on about the whole fat acceptance thing, saying she's happy in her body. Happiness is, is internal, which I do agree with, by the way, but I don't think it helps when you're really, really overweight. So she was basically creating excuses for herself being the size 16. So since all that went down, I didn't actually realize that she has also done another appearance on This Morning talking about how she's fed up now. Anyway, let's get into the video. We're here because you've had enough. Yeah. New year, new you. Yeah, yeah. Firstly, I'll apologise about my voice. I've, it, yeah, I've... don't feel sorry for her. <laughs> oh, my God, my voice! Partying. Was uh, it, a, it was a wedding, wasn't yeah. it? Yes. I've had enough. She's just going out partying, drinking some more cocktails. I mean, there, on those pictures, I was fine, I was happy, size 14 to 16. Probably wasn't. I'm an 18 now, I'm too heavy. My back, I'm on tramadol, all these different types of painkillers every day. I think my dog had that. Tramadol. So what did it do then? Because because my dog used to have as I said at the beginning, I hold my hand up because uh, I thought oh, yeah, I'm, I'm I cynical said. about this. Well, you know, we'll still <laughs> there's still time for a DVD. <laughs> yeah. you, you sat here and you convinced us all. You said, you know, that I'm, that I'm I'm happy. I've my, this is my fuller figure, and yeah. I'm actually really happy with yeah. it. Size eight was hard to maintain. Yeah. So at what mm. point did you think actually now it's too full? Size 8 was hard to maintain. I know. So I'll go to an 18 instead. Add 10 sizes. That's easier to maintain, isn't it? It's not really that much about how I look. Yeah, I'm still bigger, but I was quite happy at, like I say, a 14 to 16. It's my, my left knee's always hurting. Yeah. I slipped two discs last year and they still discs. keep re like reoccurring because mm. of the weight that I'm just... All the pressure pulling you over. You know what I mean? Are you still fit? Yeah, you still exercising then? Yeah, I was then. still going so... to the gym. I was still, I was just really indulging. And do you know what it was? I think I came on here in April. So there's actually been research that there's no such thing as fat and fit. Basically, you can be fit to a certain extent when, when you're overweight, but you are healthier at a healthy BMI, basically, or body fat percentage, whatever you want to measure off. So even the, the fact that she was going to the gym when she was a size 16, 14, 16, it's still unhealthy and she still could have benefited from getting lighter. And all the a lot of the ladies that watched it were so nice mm. that I was like, don't need to go to the gym then. So there you go. So she said everyone was so nice to her last time since her last appearance when she came on. It's all about body confidence, body acceptance. And she just said straight away there, everyone was saying, oh, you, you look so nice, you're fine, you're beautiful, you're this, you're that, it's great. And then she just said, I was like, oh, I don't need the gym anymore then. She got comfortable because everyone around her was enabling her. Completely the other way. Like, I was like, no, that's fine. Ev everybody is agreeing with me. I look good. Like, I'm just going to just gonna see see what comes of it. So it really just crept on. Yeah. Crept to the fl fridge, more like. I mean, I think over just before Christmas, we must have had every single take. We had a new kitchen, so that was my excuse for that week. We didn't have, we didn't have anything to cook with. So we had literally every takeaway over the course of... It was just so full of sugar and cream. You can see the weight on her face. 
you know what I mean, since last time. Gorgeous girl as well, gorgeous girl. You can just see, like, you know, she's she, she looks older. She actually looks older than what she is. Um, you know, she could probably pass, maybe like a little, if she had a little bit of grey there, or like less makeup on you, she could probably pass for a 46 year old, I'd say. Good looking 46 year old. How, how, how are you gonna do it? Do you know what? I'm, I've done all these extreme things, like 200 calorie, well, I'm not doing, but you know. Yeah, extreme yeah. calorie counting. And, and it's just not my thing. I'm... It's just not my thing. And it took you till now to realise that. Wait, it's not being good for Blakely when he asks me what's for tea and then says, who's bringing it? Do you know what I mean? We need to. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be, you know. They did just say, your back's never going to get better. And I've, I was like, well, I need some, an operation on it. They were like, we're not going to do anything to your back until you've proved that you can lose weight oh. and that you still... This is the problem with a lot of people and, you know, it ties into the whole political thing as well, which I'm not going to get into, but a lot of people depend so much on hand-me-outs to get fixed. People might have a little bit of a headache and they'll go to the doctor and get a friggin' pres uh, prescription, get ibuprofen on prescription. You know, it costs the NHS. People, like, who are extremely overweight cost the NHS a lot of money, billions and billions, estimated the tens of billions of, of pounds a year. And straight away, they're here for a solution. My back's bad, my knee's bad, and in her mind, the first solution is we need an operation. Well, I'm a good I Hopefully, I'm not misreading what she's was saying out of context. But the the expectation of needs an operation when your friggin' joints start going, that should be a sign. Oh damn, you know, my knees just give way after standing up off the toilet. You know what I mean? That's about time that you start getting into shape. Because I've been so extreme with the way that I've been doing things, yeah, when yeah. I do put weight on, it just goes on a lot quicker. Mm. Do you want to know why that is? Is because you've became a lot more efficient at reaching for donuts. Your fast twitch muscle fibres have developed to the point where it's just now an instant reaction. I'm joking, obviously. A five minute walk, get off the tube one stop early, yeah. get off the bus, you know, just... Take the stairs and not the way. Yeah, and... exactly. Yeah, which I, even now, like, I'm, str I'm struggling. And, you know, the thing is, it's you. Yeah. So you're not, it's not like putting kind it's of a nog up there and thinking, I'm yeah. never going to get there. Yeah. It is, you have been there, you yeah. have been that weight. Stick it up there and every time you open the fridge, you'll mm, think, no, I want to get... Or chain the fridge up. Yeah. And of course, you've got uh, hopefully a wedding this year. Yeah, well, maybe not this <gasps> year. He's not proposed to me yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we were thinking of why. You're, you're relying on well, him to no get his act together. A lovely ring for a finger He's got to get his act together if he wants to marry me. Make we can eat the same with us and that we can eat healthy and eat as a family and just set better examples. Mm. Well, good luck. Yeah. Happy. Look, regardless if she brings a DVD out or not, I'm never, I've never really been bothered about the whole DVD aspect that, she, that she's going to sell her weight loss story. You know, they all do. I get that really to a certain extent. This could have all been avoided. I put my video out ages ago. I actually tweeted it to her and I tweeted it to Loose Women as well. Obviously, they're not going to watch it and will probably just look at me as a hater, but that's why I've got this platform because I want to try and spread a little bit more awareness to the silliness of this. And you see that that poor girl, the poor kid as well, the kids eating junk all the time and, and takeaways all week, seven days a week, I think she said. And that's a terrible example to be setting to your kids. You know, kids shouldn't be hooked on takeaways and junk food. So once again, this was all avoidable. There you go. She'll probably get, probably lose the weight. Maybe we'll put it on again if she doesn't address the psychological issues that she has and the, and the terrible relationship with food. She needs to fix that. Regardless, I'm glad she's getting back on track. I hope it all works out well for her. Chanel. If you're watching this, holler at your boy. I'll, I'll I'll help you out. I'm a professional. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching once again. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe. I've already got my next videos planned out, so they're coming next week. Make sure you like it, share it. Let's get a little discussion going. Thanks again. See you later.